Hey, what's going on? You are watching Detailed Kicks. Today, we're checking out the Jordan 1 Zoom Crater. We'll do a detailed review and touch on pricing and resale. But before that, I would like to thank you for stopping by. If you liked this video, even just a little, hope you'd consider smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel as well. With that out of the way, cue the intro. Detail kicks. Let's start with the box. This doesn't come in your regular Jordan 1 box, but instead comes in the Move to Zero box that Nike has been using for their more eco-friendly releases. Now going to the upper. The upper is made with a nylon type material which incorporates recycled polyester. On hand, you'll see different colored threads or materials that are woven into the black-gray upper. This further reinforces the recycled theme of this shoe. It's really cool that it gets more apparent when you look at the shoe up close. Crimson serrated stitching at the heel and on the tongue label interrupt the pair's muted color. This gives a tiny splash of color that breaks up the monotoned look. We have a different material that wraps around the ankle from the Wings logo and the swooshes as well. It feels like super short black suede and I don't believe this is made with recycled materials. Now for the laces. These come with black flat laces and we have a pair of crimson extra laces. The tongue is made with the same materials as the upper, which is a nylon type material with recycled polyester. We have a black tongue tab with Zoom Air in white. The edges of the tongue as well as the top of the sneaker has exposed foam to give it that unfinished look. It just really goes to show how much Virgil's influence on the sneaker world is. On the lateral side, we have a Zoom tag which tells you that this shoe uses Zoom Air. The insoles are crimson with black Zoom Air branding which are non-removable and seems to be a lot thinner than the usual thin insoles we get for Jordan 1s. Checking on the midsole and outsole, we have here a recycled look with the use of crater foam for the midsole and Nike grind for the outsole. And for those who don't know what Nike grind is, these are materials created from Nike's recycled surplus manufacturing materials. This is more comfortable than our regular Jordan 1 because of the full length Zoom Air. For sizing, this fits just like any other Jordan 1, which for me it is true to size and for you it might be different. So if you have a chance to fit another Jordan 1 sneaker in any colorway, then go ahead and do so and that fits exactly the same with this pair. This comes in at $175, a $15 increase from a regular Jordan 1, which is normal for a Zoom release. Now checking on the secondary market, this is not reselling for much. The prices are between $180 to $200 depending on the size. You may go ahead and check StockX and GOAT to see what the resale prices are for your size but you won't be paying a lot for resale and that's it for this video thank you for watching this is mike signing off till next time